The strategy pattern is my favorite software design pattern. It's a behavioral pattern that allows us to write interchangeable code so we can select the right strategy based on the situation. Let's take a look at an example. We want to write some code where we send out a notification to our user, but there's multiple ways we can send out notifications. Using the strategy pattern, we can create a common interface to make these different strategies interchangeable. Let's take a look at this code. We have an order service and we have a method called ship order. And all that we're doing in this method is setting our order status to shipped and then we're sending a notification to the user, either via email or SMS. And now we want to add support for push notifications. This is where our current approach starts to break down. Every single time we want to add new functionality, we need to extend this if block. And if you have large if blocks or large switch statements, this is a pretty good indication that the strategy pattern might be a good fit. So how can we fix this using the strategy pattern? Well, first we can create an interface called order notifier. This will have a method called notify order shipped. Next, we need to add our interface to our email service and our SMS service. And then we need to implement the notify order shipped method. By doing this, we've made both the email service and the SMS service an order notifier. So these two things can be interchangeable. Now, whenever we want to add new functionality, let's say push notifications, all we need to do is create a new class and implement the I order notifier interface. Now let's refactor our order service to use our I order notifier. Previously, we were injecting our app configuration to determine whether we needed to use our email service, SMS service, or push service in order to send out a notification. Now, we don't need any of them. All we need to inject is our I order notifier. Next, let's remove these if blocks because we don't need them anymore. Now that we're injecting the order notifier, we can just call directly notify order shipped. And behind the scenes, this could be an email service, an SMS service, or a push notification service. Now that we've refactored the order service to take in an I order notifier and make use of the strategy pattern, let's start adding some new implementations of how to send out notifications. Let's add a way to send out letters in the post and we also had one particular client that really wanted to get their notifications via carrier pigeon. As you can see, adding these two new ways to send out notifications, we didn't have to change our order service whatsoever. And that's the benefit of using the strategy pattern. We can have as many implementations as we want as long as we're conforming to that I order notifier interface.